What's going on everyone? I'm Brandon and I'm a transitioning military member with a bachelor's in cybersecurity and I also happen to hold TCM's junior level penetration certification, the PJPT. I recently happened to take the PMPT, one of the most realistic penetration exams out there, and pass after the third try. Uh, in this video, I'm going to share the approach that I used, the methodology that made the difference for me, and uh, some key lessons to hopefully help any of you pass as well. Let's get right into it. So the PMPT is basically a full on start to finish penetration test where you get five days to conduct the engagement and two additional days to write a professionally written report. If you do happen to finish the exam early, do not end the exam. Use this extra time to make sure you validate your findings so that you can write up this report and not forget anything that could potentially make you fail just because you didn't include it in the report. When it comes to the exam, it starts off by gathering public information, then you move into attacking that infrastructure that's exposed uh, on the outside, and eventually you work your way into the internal network. If you can compromise that domain and end up maintaining access, you can then wrap it up with that report, and then when you go to debrief, it'll be with a staff member at TCM Security. The th the thing is with this exam, it's not CTFE, and you hear plenty of people say that. So when they say that, it means you're not looking for flags. You're not utilizing flashy exploits because that won't get you far for this exam. It's all about following and developing a solid methodology and not skipping any steps in between. Which is why you hear a lot of people also mention the aspect of enumeration. Enumerate, enumerate, enumerate. It's not just about running tools. It's about digging into things, being curious, and connecting the dots. So really pay attention to the output of your tools and what kind of information you have immediate access to or you end up getting access to. In terms of preparing for the exam, TCM says that all five courses that are provided for this certification are enough to pass. Um, while I do agree with that, I feel like expanding upon those resources and utilizing TriHackMe's Wreath Room is definitely beneficial because it helps further your knowledge in the aspect of pivoting. Um, I also like to include John Hammond's Pivoting with Legolo NG's YouTube video because I feel like that tool is a little bit faster to use and easier to run commands with. Uh, so I highly recommend checking that out. And in terms of making it through the exam, I feel like just going into the exam with a high level of curiosity um, and what you can do with certain things you find uh, will lead to a lot more breakthroughs uh, and hopefully uh, help you out of getting stuck in certain situations. When it comes to passing this exam or even becoming a decent penetration tester, developing a solid methodology and understanding of that methodology is your key to success in earning your certification. I like to break it down into three separate phases. You have your OSINT phase, your external, and then your internal. When you begin your OSINT phase, you want to, in conjunction, run your initial NMAP scan to see what is available, what ports are open, uh, what services are running, all while identifying the targets, assets, emails, subdomains, and the technology that the client uses for their um, assets. Right? You can utilize tools like AMAS or Asset Finders to potentially identify subdomains you didn't initially know about, or you can utilize DERB or DERB Buster to conduct directory enumeration to see what else is available. You're, you're essentially just building an attack surface map, gathering all the information you can to start that external attack on that infrastructure. Once you feel like you've gathered enough information from your OSINT phase, you can then move on to your external attacks on that infrastructure, uh, whether that be uh, a login portal that you happen to come across or identification of vulnerable services that might have gone unpatched for who knows how long. If you happen to gain that initial foothold, hopefully then you can maybe pivot into that internal network. Once you do, you want to conduct further enumeration, figuring out what hosts are up on that internal network. Do you have access with user credentials on any of those? 
you can figure that out by utilizing crap map exec uh, to figure out if they do have access and what kind of permissions they have. Are you a local administrator on one of the machines? If you are, you can then utilize tools like secrets dump to dump SAM hashes, right? You can take those offline and crack them and then respray the network with new credentials to see where you have access. Pay attention to the kind of ports that are open. Uh, when it comes to utilizing tools like Mimikatz, you can, is port 3389 open? You can, that's the RDP port for Windows services. You can upload Mimikatz if Windows Defender is offline, run that tool, and then dump live memory credentials uh, out and see where you can access uh, from there. Um, the ultimate goal that everybody understands is compromising the domain. And while you're doing that, you should be documenting everything that you do, taking screenshots so that you can, one, remember the attack path that you use to get up to the point where you are, uh, and two, put all of that information into your professionally written report so that you can explain what you did to get where you got to, to your client. When it comes to the end, and hopefully you have compromised the domain at this point, uh, reporting and presenting your information to prove that you actually did this um, is your last step. Right? You're going to utilize TCM's uh, provided uh, template for your report. I believe they redirect you over to Heath Adams GitHub for that. Um, I advise everybody to take screenshots of everything you do when it is successful. If you happen to enumerate and gain information, take a picture. If you run crack map exec, find a user as valid somewhere, take a picture. If you happen to dump hashes and crack them, take more pictures. Um, it's better to have those pictures uh, and use them in your report uh, and explain what's going on in those pictures versus an entire wall of text that is super boring to read. Uh, and then when it comes to pre your presentation, uh, treat the presentation like you're debriefing a client. When you do happen to reach this phase and you schedule your debrief, you're going to be debriefing it in front of a staff member of TCM security. And all that they want you to do is provide your ID showing who you really are and that your name matches the person taking the exam. And then they want you to provide an attack summary from start to finish on how you accomplished uh, compromising the domain admin and establishing a method of per persistence. Um, followed up with all the remediations you would need to do throughout in order to prevent this sort of compromise ever happening. Um, yeah, so that's really all I got for this particular exam. I hope that somebody was able to um, get something out of this. Uh, and if you like the video, please make sure you leave a like, comment, and consider subscribing. Thank you. Have a good day.